good evening friends today i am coming up with a very interesting topic a special use case for trading business where they want to differentiate buying a normal product which is storable and buying a special product which is only based on demand but here i want to make separation of my storage location and i want to set up entire process using automation so what i have done is i have created two separate locations in my warehouse one is the normal stock location where which is replenished location and again it can be used as a buying location and i have created separate reserve stock location which is again a replenished location under the same warehouse and then what i have done is this is my normal buy route whenever it considers buying anything it will go to my normal stock location but i have created separate buy reserve route which triggers and goes to this particular reserve stock location only and i have created separate operation type also to conduct a separate um, warehouse operations and then what i have done is i have created a new pull request from reserve stock to customer which will help me to define m2o on my product so with this particular setting what i have done is i have created two different trade product one normal trade product has only buying route and based on min max it will work and buy my product okay and then i have special trade product where i have selected buy reserve route and mto route which will help me to buy based on customer request only but storage location will be separate okay so let's see how it goes i will create a new block a uh, particular quotation so here i am creating a new quotation and then selling normal trade product so as soon as i confirm it it will create a delivery order and then in my overview you can see a delivery order has been planned right so for this order i can go to delivery that 18 number of delivery which is here and i can just set the quantity because that item is available in my stock i am done with my delivery now we will run with the second option and second product like i am selecting any other customer and trying to book special trade product for that customer only okay and as soon as i confirm it will trigger and release a purchase order so in my sales delivery you can see the source location is reserve stock so that is already set and now as soon as i go to my purchase order the deliver to location is received to reserve via this particular operation so as soon as i confirm it will create my receipt and delivery both together so receipt is going to come from vendor to reserve stock that is what i wanted to make a change because this particular product has been purchased based on special customer request only and then from this location only it will go to customer so now if i go to my overview you can see the receipt reserve location hit okay and before i validate that if i make any normal purchase for my any normal product like the trade product and i confirm it it will normally go to my normal receipt location only but this special uh, trade item will go to my via this particular operation and go to only reserve stock location so i am setting my quantity and will get it now before we move forward let's see the stock per location so trade product on this particular location is 97 unit and reserve stock special trade product has one unit on my hand and then i'm going back again and then planning my delivery so in delivery i will have like this particular special trade item is going to come from reserve stock only and going to then customer upon my validation so this particular uh, configuration will help many businesses to set separate 
storage location and separate buying route based on their need so that some products which they are buying on special customer request only which will go to different location from normal stock location hope this will help many different consultant and people and end user to configure such a way to manage their business with ease thank you very much